Hey guys, so I have been MIA for a little bit because school has been so, so stressful. I wanted to make sure that I got you guys up a video today, so I am filming this and like getting it up ASAP. I'm just gonna go through a couple things of what I'm calling fat loss for dummies. You're not a dummy, I am sorry. I'm sorry. You're not a dummy. The, so it's kind of just gonna break everything down really quick and I'm gonna flash up the little lecture type thing that I made and just pretty much take you through the basics of what you need to know if you want to begin your fat loss journey. Also, I wanna let you guys know that this is actually on my Instagram and you can swipe through and see this as well. So that will be on my Instagram link down below at Logan B. Fit. And you can just kinda of look through that there if you want to and save it so you can always go back to it. I also wanna let you guys know that I am now affiliated with Women's Best, which that's a whole nother thing. Um, I will be happy to talk about it if you want, but I would really appreciate it if you guys would go through my link and if you purchase anything through that link, I will get a little bit of commission and it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it just, it really does help me out and I would appreciate that as a broke college girl. That will also be down below if you want to shop anything. They are coming out with a whole new collection this month as well as having some secret sales might want to go check it out that's all i'm gonna say they have a couple of sales on their activewear and their supplements so the link is below if you want to go check it out so the first main rule i give anybody for wanting to lose fat is you need to know what you're eating at this moment so you need to know how much you're eating um because you cannot start cutting down calories or adding in or anything like that until you know the baseline of where you're at that'd be like getting in a car without ever touching a car and just being like, let's go do a NASCAR race. Can't do that. I actually recommend taking about a week or two of eating just how you normally eat and then tracking that through an app like my fitness pal which is one that i have personally used in the past it just kind of gives you the idea of seeing where you're at in this moment and this is going to determine what we call the maintenance calories it is just the baseline and number of calories that you have to eat to maintain the level or weight that you are at in this moment without adding or losing any weight it looks a little bit scary the second thing is you're going to want to figure out how to cut your calories. So are you going to cut them by decreasing the amount of food you're eating or adding in more cardio um, or a little bit of both? You can do a mix. I recommend doing a mix and how I actually like to pair them up is cut down the amount of food that you're eating for the first couple of weeks and then in the last little short span of your cut or decrease of your calories, I recommend instead of eating less just start increasing the amount of cardio you're doing so say you are at 2,000 calories and say you've decreased your number of calories to 1600 Let's just give a roundabout number instead of cutting them down even more you're gonna be so starving if you do that I recommend just staying at that 1600 calories and then adding up cardio so maybe then you burn 100 to 200 calories doing running or whatever you're doing the treadmill whatever kind of exercise that you're doing then that's putting you in more of a deficit without having to decrease the amount of food you're eating now i do want to note that you're not going to want to mess with your protein here and pretty much anything you do i do not recommend messing with protein or cutting it down you need max of one gram of protein per pound of body weight that's if you're weightlifting or doing anything like that but usually you can get by with about 0.7 to 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. So say you were 130 pounds, you would need 130 grams of protein to hit a good goal for your protein intake. Now what you do want to mess with is your carbs and your fats. Those are the two that you really want to play with the macros. Now since we know if you've watched any other videos that carbs are the main source of energy and they are usually going to make up the majority of your diet, those are usually the first ones that I like to play with just because you have a little bit more room to play with them whereas your fats are a little bit less of a percentage protein stays the same carbs you can lower your carbs by a little bit and then once you start feeling like it's messing with your performance you can start manipulating the fats 
plants but you don't have to worry about being scared of either one of them they are both essential but carbs usually for most people can take up around 50 percent of their macros or their overall diet so usually you have a little bit more room to play with those so once you've been decreasing the amount of food you're eating for a certain amount of time and you know maybe you've been doing it for six to eight weeks now is the time to reassess what kind of progress you've made if you've made progress what has worked what hasn't um your body composition it's time to look back and see where you've come in these last couple of weeks and then from there you will determine if you're happy with the way you are you can start doing a reverse diet which i will have a video on coming up or you can decide to continue manipulating and you know sculpting your body in the way you want it so what i recommend is actually going into like a two to three week period of like a reverse diet and then going back into cutting just because your body's metabolism adapts so quickly you don't want to keep cutting if you're already eating like 1600 calories, you don't want to then lower it by another 400 and you're barely eating. So that's why I like to do a short reverse diet to increase your calories and your metabolism and then start again. So how you do that would be maybe after you've done your six to eight week reduction in calories, then you can decide to increase your calories by 100 every week, which will slowly increase your metabolism and how much you're able to eat without making a huge difference in the amount of fat that you have lost um, because you, we are doing it so slow you're not going to gain all that weight back you're going to slowly allow your body to metabolize these extra calories and it's not going to make a huge difference in your physique or how your body responds so once you have done that three to four week increase of your calories by like 100 maybe 200 if you're on a faster metabolism then we will start the process again and start by cutting down your calories increasing cardio and doing that little work again and really you can continue to do this a year at max don't want to do a straight diet for a year or more but you know a couple months of doing this like dieting and then you increase your calories and then you can like cut back down again that is fine but you don't want to do this long term just because you're messing with your body so much and if you have any questions about that comment them down below i would be happy to help you yeah and the last thing i just want to say is don't forget to take a progress picture because sometimes our minds can manipulate us and we can think that we have made no progress when really you have made progress that you might not even see so sometimes even though the weight on the scale doesn't move you can look completely different to how you looked when you first started so please take a progress picture before you start and then at the end of the you know six to eight weeks take another picture and then compare them to really see the progress you've made rather than just trying to go off of your memory and looking into a mirror. That will be it for today. I am so sorry that I have been absent. Thank you so much for sticking around and just, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow my Instagram at loganbefit. It is linked down below. Go through my code. It will be in my Instagram bio and down below. If you want to look at any of the women's best things, again, it does help me out and I would just really appreciate it. So thank you and I love you all. Have an amazing week.